Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief, guys. All right. Welcome to my Wednesday message. Welcome to week 28. I'm mega excited. We are inching closer and closer and closer to October 7th, the birthday of the greatest networker that ever existed in this industry. My upline, my mentor, Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran and master plan it is also day one of vcon 2022 penang malaysia physical real be there kind of vcon tickets are selling out like this record sales of tickets even though vcon is two months away all right so please talk to your uplines talk to anyone and get your vcon ticket guys all right the time is coming when we're all going to meet again face to face hugging touching all right, and feeling the power of our great founders, Japaras Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay Ishwan on that stage. I cannot wait, guys. All right, week 28, Eid Mubarak to all my Muslim brothers and sisters. Please convey my love to your family, your team, my, my, my highest respect to your parents. I love you. Eid Mubarak to everyone. And welcome to week 28. All right, and this week, I'm doing my Wednesday message and I'm, I'm talking to you as an individual. I don't know how to say this. I'm trying to get closer to the camera. But my name is Patman Senatiraja. I am chief, the upline of the whole organization around the world, representing these two great founders, Japaras Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay. And if you're watching my Wednesday message for the first time, it's a video I make every week, which started almost nine years ago. And Arun George told me this could be the longest standing network marketing series of videos in the history of the industry. <laughs> Unbelievable. It started off just as a support to post week on and now it's never stopped. And that's because Dato Sri Vijay trained me to keep my promises and to maintain my commitment. Now today, I want to speak to you, whoever you are, wherever you are right now. All right. And I want to take you through a small journey of life. And today is a bit emotional. I've been thinking a lot about my mother, God bless her soul, and uh, family, how important it is. And our journey in this world, whether it's from childhood until now, or your journey in networking itself, whatever it is, I want you to listen very carefully. You see, all of us are born into this world. You know, we don't choose our parents. I remember telling you this many times. We don't choose our nationality, our religion, or where we are born, or the circumstances of our birth. We don't decide when we die. That is his decision. We don't decide the circumstances of our death. But from birth to death, there is a time in between where he empowers you with the power of choice. For you to choose how you live to choose how you impact the world the community your family and that power of choice we have used it and sometimes not in the most intelligent way you and me and everyone watching this video we have all made what i would say bad decisions do we regret it yes can we change the past no Shall we be too fearful to make more decisions moving forward? No, we should always make decisions. Hopefully, like Dr. Sri Vijay says, we get wiser in how we make those decisions. And a few days ago, a few hours ago, a few months ago, a few years ago, you made a decision. As insignificant as you may feel it is, you made a decision to sign up, buy a product, whether it's a biodiesel, a watch, cheap and then a vacation package, a home pure, all right, uh, whatever you, you, you chose to buy and you signed up, you clicked a few details of your name, number, whatever, created password, mother's maiden name, da, 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 and boom, you became an independent representative or IR of QNET and you were given this thing called the tracking center, an account, like a bank account, you know, it's just a virtual account, but this virtual account, could be your legacy for many generations to come. It could change the outcome of your family, your community, your future, 
it is basically going to change the lives of your children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and further many generations if you build it right. Now, the decision you made was based out of some need at that moment of time. Do you remember? Think about it. Either you were miserable where you were and you wanted to get out of it, or whether in that presentation, this great person who presented to you, and you should always be grateful to them, send them a message after this Wednesday message, whether they're active or not, just say thank you. They ignited something in you that made you want to move forward and, and, and dream again and live a different journey of life. And you started that journey. And along this journey towards the ultimate goal, which I call financial freedom or max out or whatever you want to call it, there were moments where you had doubt and that's okay. So did I. So did everyone. I was lucky enough to have Dato Sri Vijay slap the doubt out of me, but everyone has it. There were moments where you doubted yourself. There were moments where you read something online, offline, and you started to doubt the company. But you overcame that doubt. And I believe that every time you overcome doubt, you become stronger. It affirms that you are passionate and committed to that decision you make, that you're not going to allow that doubt to steal away your decision or steal away your dream. And you keep moving and moving. And then you start to increase your belief with your first sign up or your first check or achieving your second check or your cycle or something happens. And your passion and your belief go stronger and stronger within you. And one day you become a networker. You become a warrior of Dato Sri Vijay Ishwin and you want to open up new markets or countries and then you face a challenge and the doubt comes and hit you again and you get frustrated and you get fearful and you feel like giving up again. But then somebody calls you or you watch a Wednesday message or Instagram live or you come to VCon or you watch a video of Dato on YouTube and you say, okay, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep going and going and going. And what I'm trying to tell you is this is your journey. This is yours, not mine, not Dato Sri Vijay, not Japadas Bismarck. This is your journey and we cannot make decisions for you. We cannot choose how you complete this journey. We can advise you, we can guide you, we can hold your hand during the bad days and inspire you when you need it. But ultimately, you have to decide how you want to go through this journey and you have to decide at every point where you feel like giving up, when the doubt becomes so strong, when the challenge is too big, when the crisis is too powerful, whether you're going to walk away or not, because that choice also has an impact on your future generations, that you give up too soon before you realize that you were actually one presentation away from finding an Adli, a Arun, a Sati, a David. Maybe you were three presentations away from finding a Japadas Bismarck and a Dato Sri Vijay. All right, or maybe five presentations away from finding a moron with a dream warrior like me. And you have to be careful of the choices you make. You got to be careful of who you listen to. Because if you listen to the wrong person at the wrong time, it can pollute your mind and your heart and you may prematurely quit this business just as you were starting to gain momentum and grow and, and become more powerful. And this is what I want to remind you that this whole journey from zero to max out, this whole journey from zero to financial freedom is all about the choices you make, whether you choose to do your TAT consistently, whether you choose to do presentation every day or every week without fail, whether you choose to do the Wednesday message, regardless what happens, that you never stop or you never give up doing this Wednesday message. It's all about the choices we make. And the greatest mistake you can make, especially the new guys watching, is that you make the wrong choices on this journey. You understand? And I'm advising you and I'm telling you, this journey is not long. It is not short. It is your journey. And it requires you to embrace the fact 
that this journey is just not a business. It's just not about network marketing. It's not about how many presentations and what's your check. This is your journey of life. Like Dato Sri Vijay told me, when this business becomes your life, you have made the best choice of your life. And I'm not pushing you to become a fanatic QNET guy. This is QNET. I will die for QNET. No. I just want you to know that this is your choice to start this journey. And I'm begging you and telling you that this is the best choice you have ever made in your life. But don't treat it as something outside of you. Then you cannot succeed. You cannot max out. If you see QNET as something different from you, it will be too easy for the negativity, for the challenges, the crises to cut that bond, you know. So if you are connected to QNET with a cable, only far the distance, that means there's too much cable and too much opportunity for it to be cut by a negative moron, by a relative who doesn't believe in network marketing, by a government who doesn't understand this great industry, by a reporter, by a journalist, by anyone. And the only way you prevent from being disconnected from QNET is to bring QNET closer and closer and closer and closer to you until like this, that QNET becomes you, you become QNET that this is no longer a business you are doing, but this becomes part of your life. Because I don't see the Mark Zuckerbergs and the Bill Gates and, and the Vijay Insurance talk about their company as something separate. They talk about it as, it as if it is them. There is no separation. The greater the separation between you and QNET, there is more opportunity there's more space in between for people to come in and separate you permanently. But the closer you embrace the business, the more you understand that this is not just a business. This is your journey of life. That the potential of what could happen in 10 years, in 5 years, in 3 years, inshallah 2 years, is simply unbelievable. But you just have to accept it as part of your journey of life. And that's one choice you have to make today. Because the minute it becomes you, alright, nothing can stop. Nothing can stop you. As I always say, don't be in QNET. QNET must be in you. And the minute you make that choice, nothing is going to stop you. And it doesn't mean you, you, you give up everything else in life. I have a very normal life. But I also know that this is my life. That I'm not in QNET. I am QNET. That tracking center is not about me. It's about many generations to come. That I am an entrepreneur. Right? That this is the greatest opportunity that's ever come into my life. And you need to understand that. You need to embrace that. Only then can you transfer that belief, transfer that passion and stand strong no matter what. Because if you do not own this business, if QNET is not in you, you will give up like this. Do you understand? This is not a date. This is not a fling. This is not a, you know, summer romance. This is marriage. This is family. This is being a father, being a mother to your downlines. This is a long-term commitment. This is not a short-term gain. You don't get into network marketing. You don't get into QNET for fun only. You get into it to express your commitment, to express your dreams, to talk about the journey of your life, inspire hundreds and thousands and millions of people, inshallah, one day, to change their lives and change the world we live in by empowering people to become entrepreneurs. But you must allow it into your life. That there's no lines, you cannot separate it. That this is my life and this is QNET. It will never work. You bring it together and then you fly. Are you guys with me? So remember guys, this is your journey, your life. Nobody forced you to do anything. Nobody can force you to do anything. 
But I want you to make the right choices. You made the first choice of starting your journey as an entrepreneur with a great company called QNet and a great industry called Network Marketing with the greatest founders, Japa and Datu Sri Vijay. But now make more choices. Make the choice that you will remain consistent. Make the choice that you will be a warrior no matter what happens. Make the choice that this is no longer just a business but part of your life, part of your family's life. All right, that you are not in QNet. Make the choice that you are not in QNet, but QNet is in you, inside. Make the choice that you will never, 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 never quit, no matter what. Make the choice that you will rise higher than the negativity. You will rise higher than the criticism. You will rise higher than the challenges. Make the choice that you're willing to fight and die for your dream and not allow anyone to take it away from you. Make the choice that your downlines are like your children, that you will keep the promises you make to them and you will raise them well. Make the choice that you will remain loyal to the founders no matter what happens. Make the choice that you will never, never, never stop being in service to your downlines, to your uplines, to our V family. Make the choice that this must be the greatest choice you have made in your life. Not to be in QNET, but to allow QNET to be in you. This is your journey. No matter at what point of this journey you are, no matter how easy it feels right now, or how challenging it feels right now, my advice is, every time you face any point, make the right choice. The right choice is based on the first time you saw the presentation, that reason, that burning desire, that compelling reason, you know, that was within you, that made you say yes. Keep making the right choices. But don't ever, ever quit. And I promise you, you will make it. Because you are not in QNET. QNET must be in you. I love you guys.